2019 saw a wild storm season which swung from quiet lows to destructive highs in intensity, from severe storms to tropical storms, and even tornadoes to snowstorms. But inevitably, not all amazing weather events in 2019 made it onto my YouTube channel. In this video, we're taking a look back at the most incredible, the most unusual, and the most damaging weather events which made it on a video but have never been seen until now. This is the unseen footage of Storm Season 2019. Winter clung tightly to the Great Lakes even into the early part of spring, which provided a few snowstorms before giving way to a high wind event toward the end of February. This period of interesting weather gave me something to film, but it wouldn't be until late April that thunderstorms came back into the forecast. Even with the return of warm weather and sporadic thunderstorms, the early part of the storm season was unusually quiet. Although some warm evenings might find spectacular sunsets stretched across the horizon, Indiana saw little in the way of severe weather. That was until the second half of May. For about two weeks in the latter half of the month, a historic swarm of violent weather battered areas from Kansas to Ohio, often striking Indiana in the crossfire. Some of my best footage of the year came from the outbreak, which produced nearly daily occurrences of severe weather in Indiana. Perhaps the most powerful moment of the season came when I visited the town of Macy, Indiana, where a half-mile wide tornado had torn through nearby farmland. Homes were destroyed, wide swaths of forests were leveled, and it became the most powerful tornado damage path I'd seen since the August 24, 2016 tornado outbreak. Summer officially arrived with June, and although the frequency and magnitude of severe weather diminished some, there were several days of amazing weather. One of those days was June 19th. An afternoon of heating with plenty of moisture resulted in widespread thunderstorms, some packing strong winds and dangerous lightning. But they all had one thing in common, heavy rain. Perhaps my greatest storm chase and adventure of the year came on the busy day of July 6th, 2019. It was a muggy Saturday afternoon, and I was helping a band in Monticello during a small summer festival. With storms all around me, it had some awesome moments. But things really got interesting when I left the festival. 
A severe thunderstorm had developed in northwestern Indiana, and the strong storms continued to propagate southeastward. I got into position to intercept. What developed over the course of my chase was probably the best storm structure of the year, complete with a sharp shelf cloud, heavy rain curtains, and rippling undulas asperas clouds behind the front. This was one of my most successful chases in the area, and one of my favorite days of the storm season. Later in the month, our attention was directed toward a more unusual subject. Hurricane Barry made landfall along the Louisiana coast just days early, and now the remnants of the system were headed toward Indiana. Because this occurred during summertime, the instability aided by tropical moisture led to numerous thunderstorms in the region, a significant feature of Barry's remnants.
I rushed to get to the closest filming location when the line of strong thunderstorms tore through Indiana on the afternoon of August 20th. Perhaps the most interesting aspect of this squall line, aside from the amazing cloud formations, was that it struck just one day after the 10 year anniversary of me filming my first storm. A storm which shared many features with this one. For a little while, things calmed down. Those fantastic sunsets which had marked spring's quiet period had once again returned, and storms became relatively infrequent. But then, something happened in September. Indiana caught lightning fever. Sometimes it felt like every evening had a different display of lightning to offer, and all of them were amazing. In the process, I got some of the best photos I've ever taken. Fall is a time of change, and this change often leads to dramatic weather events across the United States. While the first days of autumn offer a great view of the changing leaves and the great beauty which characterizes the season, a strange weather event soon garnered attention. Another tropical system was headed toward Indiana. Just one day after making landfall, the remnants of tropical storm Olga would impact Indiana. Although an amazing sunset preceded the storm, widespread rain and increasing winds became common the following day.
As night fell, the pressure gradient induced by Olga increased, leading to battering winds often exceeding 30 miles per hour, but once reaching 47 miles per hour. The wild storm season of 2019 was reaching its conclusion and would end the same way it began, with a high wind event. On November 27th, just one day before Thanksgiving, an intense low pressure system swept through the Great Lakes and brought widespread high wind to the region, often exceeding 50 miles per hour. Although I was unable to film extensively while traveling, a gust of 57 miles per hour occurred near this area, and light rain showers created blowing rain curtains similar to those of severe thunderstorms. As the day wore into the evening and sunset approached, high winds persisted but gradually diminished. I spent part of Thanksgiving traveling around some local areas documenting the damage left behind by this strong wind event. And 
now, winter has arrived. With its occasional snowfall, chilling winds, and clear night skies, it has put an end to the 2019 storm season. Looking back, 2019 was a year marked by wild weather from start to finish. It wasn't my best season, but it was much more active and damaging than the 2018 season. 2019 also featured moments which left me in awe, gave me moments which were challenging to film, and helped to reinforce my fascination with our weather. What will 2020 hold? Nobody knows. But I know that whether it's high wind or snow, whether it's tropical storms or severe storms, whether it's spectacular sunsets or terrifying tornadoes, I will be filming. To all the chasers gearing up for the next storm season in 2020, I wish you all great luck and safe travels. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next storm.